Rose Mary Bentley died. She decided to donate her body to the Oregon Health and Science University, OHSU, in Portland. Then, some months after her passing, a group of medical students examined her cadaver in 2018. However, when they opened Bentley up, the group were greeted by an extremely unusual sight. As we get older, we start to think about the future and what we will be doing in our later lives. For instance, we may want to live until a ripe old age, enjoying the time we have left with our respective families. And Bentley was fortunate enough to get that chance, as you will soon find out. A resident of Molala, Oregon, Bentley was 99 years old when she died back in October 2017, and it's believed that her death came as a result of natural causes. Furthermore, she left behind her five adult children with her passing, but to be fair, she had embraced her life to the fullest and lived longer than many. Indeed, Bentley and her husband had enjoyed the freedom that came with their retirement almost 40 years ago. By traveling around the U.S. and throughout that time, there didn't appear to be any major problems with her health. So, taking that into consideration, no one could have predicted what the medical students discovered in March 2018. Over the course of our lives, we will all have aspirations and goals that we hope to fulfill, whether it's starting a business or having a family of our own. These aims can help drive us forward, but unfortunately, not everyone will get the chance to achieve their dreams. In the case of Rosemary Bentley, too, she appeared to reach several personal landmarks during her long life. Like all non agenarians out there today, she lived through some key historical moments too, playing her part when called upon. And while the mom went on to hit the headlines after her death, Everything before that seemed fairly normal. On that note, let's go back to the very start. Well, Bentley was welcomed into the world back in 1918, joining her three older siblings in Waldport, Oregon. As she was the youngest of the four kids, she received special treatment from her parents. The future mother then shared that information with her oldest child many years later as she reflected on that time. Bentley was babied. Patty Helmick told CNN during an interview about her mom in April 2019. She would admit she was spoiled as a kid. However, while she was showered with attention, Bentley had to deal with a concerning medical condition when she was younger that put her in a vulnerable position. Yes, unfortunately for Bentley, she was struck down by a case of smallpox as a youngster. At that time, the disease was responsible for taking the lives of millions of people around the world. Yet, despite those grim figures, the Oregon resident eventually recovered from the deadly ailment, with her life returning to normal. So, following that health scare, Bentley started to show a real interest in medicine and science as she got older. In the end, though, she struggled to find a way into the medical sector. So she pursued a different career. Yes, the young woman took up hairdressing, ahead of a big moment in her life. With Bentley in her early twenties, World War II began in September 1939, and the conflict would last for the next six years resulting in the deaths of between 70 to 85 million people. Back in Oregon, though, the hairdresser was more than willing to offer her services to the cause. Yes, looking back on that time in Bentley's life, Dr. Helmig revealed a bit more. She told CNN she volunteered during World War II for one of the nurses' aid corps. And she was thrilled when someone reached out to her about doing a study on smallpox survivors, which she had as a child. Despite this, Bentley returned to the salon after the war ended, but that wasn't her only responsibility. Alongside the hairdressing, she also took up a position as a Sunday school teacher at the Molala United Methodist Church. 
You see, the mom was already quite familiar with the congregation due to her being in the church choir. Outside of this, Bentley was pretty active with her family as well, enjoying various trips with her five children. And those moments were fondly remembered by the hairstylist's third child, who shared a few details with CNN. Now, her name was Ginger Robbins, and she recalled one of her mother's most impressive talents. Bentley was always very healthy, Robbins explained. She was always doing something, taking us to campfire girls, fishing, swimming. She was an excellent swimmer. But as it turned out, Bentley had to overcome another hurdle to enjoy those activities. Although it was nowhere near the severity of her previous medical ailment, Indeed, for some reason, Bentley suffered with bad heartburn and was unable to shift it. Apart from that, she appeared to be in good health ahead of an operation in later life. You see, the parent was going to have her appendix taken out in what would be a standard procedure. Yet the physician concerned with the up encountered a strange problem. That's correct. For Lewis Ali, who was the youngest of Bentley's girls, told CNN, the surgeon made a note that her appendix wasn't in the right spot when they took it out. But they never said anything to us. Nobody said a thing when they took her gallbladder out and later did a hysterectomy, either. Regardless of that unusual news, Bentley didn't share any further issues concerning her health with her family. As for her job, the mom of five eventually opened up a local business with her spouse James, which they named the Bentley Feed Store, and the shop provided supplies for both pet owners and farmers in the Molala area. Meanwhile, when Bentley and her husband reached their retirement back in 1980, they decided to go traveling together. In fact, the pair subsequently visited every state in America, before packing their bags for some overseas trips too. And it was quite a way to celebrate their freedom from the world of work. But their plans didn't end there. For you see, like many older people, Bentley and James started to think about what would happen when they passed away. And James himself brought up the idea of donating his body to science after reading a Robert Test poem. In fact, such was his passion on the matter that his wife showed an interest in following suit. As Ali recalled to CNN, there was a poem that my dad found, and it was all about donating your body parts. You know, give my eyes to a man who has never seen the sunrise and the like. He kept showing us the poem. It was really important to them. In the end, James died in 2004, with the OHSU body donation program taking him in. But Bentley went on to live without her husband for the next 13 years, reaching the ripe old age of 99 in 2017. That October, though, she sadly passed away from natural causes. From there, Bentley's body was moved to the aforementioned university, where it remained until March 2018. At that point, the 99-year-old was brought out for a group of medical students as part of an anatomy lesson. However, no one in the class could have predicted what would happen next. With the cadaver resting on the table, Warren Nelson and his fellow students were tasked to cut open the torso. After that, they needed to look over Bentley's heart. Yet within a few moments of making the incision, Nelson noticed something quite odd about the vital organ, which he recalled to CNN in April 2019. Yes, Nelson revealed, Bentley's heart was missing a large vein that's normally on the right side. We asked our teachers, where is the inferior vena cava? Are we missing it? Are we crazy? And they kind of rolled their eyes. Like, how can these students miss this big vessel? On that note, the situation took a stunning turn. And then the teachers come over. Nelson continued. And that's when the hubbub starts. 
They are like, oh my god, this vena cava is totally backwards. Now, a normal vena cava is situated on the right hand side of our bodies. The vein usually curves beneath the liver and carries blood up to the heart. In Bentley's case, though, her vena cava was on the opposite side and it didn't end in the normal place either. As explained by assistant professor Cameron Walker from the university, her vein continued through her diaphragm along the thoracic vertebrae, up and around and over the aortic arch, and then emptied into the right side of her heart. And Walker continued. Normally speaking, none of us have a vessel that does that directly. Following that surprising discovery, the group then took a closer look at Bentley's other organs, and they found that her right lung was missing a lobe, and part of her heart was abnormally large. In addition to that, certain veins in Bentley's torso weren't in the right place either. But Walker and the students were in for another shock when they examined the lower half of her body. Much like the vena cava, all the vital organs were positioned in an abnormal manner. Instead of having a stomach on the left, which is normal, Bentley's stomach was on the right. Walker told CNN, her liver, which normally occurs predominantly on the right, was predominantly on the left. Her spleen was on the right side instead of its normal occurrence on the left. And then the rest of her digestive tract, the ascending colon, was inverted as well. So what had caused this all to happen? Well, as it turned out, Bentley had been suffering from an ailment known as Cetus inversus with levocardia throughout her life. And yet she didn't even know it. Now, this genetic condition usually starts when a fetus is between 30 to 45 days old in the womb. From there, its vital organs become inverted, resembling that of a mirror image. You see, cetus inversus with levocardia is incredibly rare, with 1 in 22,000 being born with the condition. And on top of that, it usually leads to the development of heart disease as well. Due to those issues, it's believed that under 15% of sufferers survive beyond their fifth birthday. But luckily for Bentley, she faced no such problems before her passing, other than that incessant heartburn. Furthermore, existing medical records show that someone else lived with the condition for 73 years, ahead of their death in 1991. At that time, the person was deemed to be the second longest survivor in history. Meanwhile, Professor Walker delivered a stunning assessment of the situation during his chat with CNN. In his mind, this case of status inverses with levocardia would be tough to top. He said, I think the odds of finding another person like Bentley may be as remote as one in 50 million. I don't think any of us will ever forget it, honestly. Walker's thoughts didn't conclude there, though as we are about to find out. For you see, the college professor also spoke with UK newspaper The Guardian in April 2019. And over the course of that conversation, he claimed that Bentley's story could have a long-term impact on the medical sector. Could it be that more medical students really should be exposed to such anomalies during training, for example? This is an important case, Walker told the publication. It really gave us an opportunity to talk about the importance of future clinicians paying attention to subtle anatomic variations. Not just large anatomic variations. In terms of addressing their future patients as individuals. Don't judge a book by its cover. As for Nielsen, he was clearly affected by what he saw that day at the OHSU. You see, the student went on to share his feelings during a talk with the college's website in April 2019. According to him, his entire outlook changed after examining Bentley's body. As Nelson went on to explain, we were able to not only learn normal anatomy, but also all the anatomic variation that can occur. 
I grew to appreciate how Bentley was able to live as long as she did. It made me wonder who she was. The experience has me looking forward to caring for patients and being able to apply what I have learned from her. But while the likes of Nelson and Walker shared their astonishment with the world, Bentley's family were just as surprised, too. After all, they had no idea about their mother's condition prior to her passing. So with that in mind, Dr. Ali gave some insight into the case from their perspective. My mom would think this was so cool, Ali told the university website, as she reflected on everything that transpired. She would be tickled pink that she could teach something like this. She would probably get a big smile on her face, knowing that she was different, but made it through.